Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze a key for its fatigue failure. Let's get started. We'll first go to Static Structural. Then we'll go to Geometry, right click. I already have the model with me, so I'll directly import the model. Next, I'll go to engineering data. I'm going to use structural steel. You can use stainless steel, but if you use stainless steel, you will not be able to calculate for its fatigue value because that material doesn't have this alternating stress table in it. So I'm using structural steel as a reference material. Interpolation from log log, I'll change this to semi-log and this alternating stress value, I want to check in megapascal. It is 86.2. So I'll go to project, update project. I hope you must have gone through the other analysis by now. So you must be knowing the theoretical part of this analysis. We will just see how to analyze the key and without actually making a prototype and going for a destructive testing, we can use the software for modeling the key. You can use any software like SOLIDWORKS or Creo, and you can bring it here in ANSYS and analyze it. We'll go to model and double click. We'll go to geometry part one. You can see structural steel is the default material. I'll go to mesh. This is a coarse meshing. I will change it to fine and update. So the meshing is done. Now next I'll go to analysis settings. Now if you have held a key, you must be knowing where to apply fixed. So you would apply fixed on this surface press control on this other surface and on this side that's where you hold your key so these three faces are fixed and when you put the key into the slot what you apply is moment so this is the face on which we are going to apply moment and also on the other side so the other two faces apply I'll change vector to component. Now you can see the axis that is X. So along the X axis, I'm going to rotate my key. So here, let me apply some moment of 500 Newton mm. Now, since I'm going to use clockwise direction, I'll take minus sign. You can just check here. This is going clockwise. Most of the key is always going to turn towards the clockwise to open. The reason is, 90% of people in this world are right-handed, so it's very preferable to use a clockwise direction to open the key. Having said that, there could be locks which have an anti-clockwise turn to open the key. That's completely normal as well. But maximum time you find it in the clockwise direction, so I'm using clockwise. If you wish, you can use the anti-clockwise direction also. It's the same effect that you're going to find. I'll go to solution, insert deformation total i want to see what is the equivalent stress so that i know that if there is a static loading what would be the stress generated on the body now suppose if we have to check for fatigue i'll take the fatigue tool i'm going to insert life as an option i want to see what would be the life and factor of safety of the key when I go to fatigue tool, I need to choose the type of loading. Now I'm not going for fully reversed. I'm going for zero base because you always go from a zero value to a maximum value and that's how the door opens. And here analysis type is stress life. That's what I want to know. And mean stress theory I'm choosing as Goodman. 
I'll go to solution and solve. Okay, we'll first go to deformation. You can see it's turning. That's how it is supposed to be. This is the deformation in the body. If you want to see the equivalent stress, you can see here at the junction. That's where we are supposed to get the maximum stress over the body. You can see here maximum value is shown. The factor of safety is 1.24 for static loading. So suppose if you apply a load and you just turn it, that's a static loading. That is 1.24 which means my body is very much safe. Let's go for a zero based loading. Here you can check the life is really good. It is 2.654 into 10 to 5 cycles. So once you have used the key for so many number of cycles, after that it is going to show its complete wear off and rupture. Till then you can use the key. And when you talk about the safety factor, you can see the 0.82. It is less than 1, which means your key is going to get damaged some or the other day. It is not going to have a permanent life. Now for that, if you want to have a better life for this key, you can lower down the moment. That's what we do in this analysis. But actually speaking, the meaning is if you want to make this key work for a longer duration than what you have already found, you will have to change the material of the key, maybe make the key a little more thicker at these zones so that it is able to take the stress. Or you could change the material such that it is able to sustain the amount of moment that is generated on this body. So that's how you analyze these part. And when I say that I'm assuming a particular value of moment, 500 Newton meter, if you take a value lower than this, yes, your key is going to become more safer. For example, minus 400 and let's run the solution for it. You can see the equivalent stress, it is 141. It is still more than 86 megapascal for structural steel, but you would still find that your safety factor has gone above 1, which means it is better. And the life cycle also must have increased, which is 1 into 10 raised to 6. You can check here, the stress factor has also changed. It is 1.55 for static loading, which means your key has become better with lower amount of moment applied on it. Now, when I say I'm lowering the moment, it means I am designing the keys to find how much maximum moment it can bear. Other way of interpreting this is the change of material or the change of thickness of the key. So these are the two ways of solving. Either you increase the cost by changing the material and the thickness or what you can do is you can lower down your load and you can say that for a particular amount of load or moment, your key is going to work. So either way you can design. So these are the techniques of designing of your model. And this is definitely a non-destructive way wherein you don't have to make the prototype destroy it and make another one. You can directly go for designing using a CAD model, analyze and check if your key is going to work for that required value. Suppose if you have already found it by theoretical solution, you can compare it. So that's how this analysis is supposed to be done. I hope you have understood the process. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos. See you in the next session. Thank you.